Good morning, second grade. It's beeswax day. If you don't already have your beeswax, go grab any color of beeswax that you like. I've been warming mine up for a while. I've been sitting by the fire trying to get mine worn because for whatever reason, my hands today are especially cold and it took me quite a while to warm up my beeswax. So let's get our beeswax out and I'll let you guys get it warming up. I know you have favorite ways of doing it. Remember our hands are the best way to do it. I know some of you like to put it in the creeks of our armpits maybe or rolling them around but keeping that warmth of our hand around it is going to be nice and warm so get out of beeswax <clears throat> while you work yours a little bit if you need to pause the video to go get one please do <clears throat> i'm using purple today for mine get it nice and warm and we're going to be rolling into a ball. You can see mine's in a ball. So <clears throat> as you warm it up, you can be working towards a ball. And as I keep warming mine up, I'm just going to hold mine a little bit to get it a little, a little bit warmer before I start to shape. I have a little poem to read for you. It's poetry month. I know you've been getting some poems, I think, from Mrs. Laux and maybe even Mrs. Kane. But this one stumbled upon me this morning and I wanted to share it. I'll see if you've heard this one before. It's called The Child and the Fairies. <clears throat> the woods are full of fairies. The trees are alive. The, rivers over, the river overflows with them. See how they dip and dive. What funny little fellows. What dainty little dears. They dance and leap and prance and peep and utter fairy cheers. I'd like to tame a fairy to keep it on my shelf, to see it wash its little face and dress its little self. I teach it pretty manners. It always should say please. And then you know I'd make it so and curtsy with its knees. How about that? Do you think you'd like to tame and catch a fairy? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so we're into a ball now. And today we're gonna make an umbrella. It's been um, uh, raining. We've had some rain, it's not raining right now, but we've had some rain these past few days. And I thought we'd make an umbrella. So once we're in a ball, what I want you to do is we're just gonna slowly start to push that out um, kind of into a flat little disc. So we're just gonna start to push it out into a little disc. And <clears throat> we're gonna start to try to bend it over. Thinking of it kind of like um, maybe a mushroom cap, starting it out as. And as you get cracks, we know how when we have little cracks on top, we can smooth those out with our thumb. <clears throat> My beeswax today is, it's bendable, but it's not as soft as I really like it. And that's okay, because we can still work with it, can't we? <clears throat> so we're just going to keep bending that like a little cap. If yours is softer, or if you still need to work with it to get it soft, you may keep doing that. And you can hit pause and come back when you're nice and soft. I'm working on some of my creases that are, you see that crease in the top? <clears throat> I'm gonna try to smooth that out. And that was because it was so cold and when I was folding it over, you got that nice crack in it. But we're gonna keep bending and bending. <clears throat> and when you get to that bottom part, what I want you to do in that middle, make sure that you have I'm working the bottom side right now. I'm kind of pushing with my nails. I'm trying to get a little lump underneath. <clears throat> what do we think we would do with a lump underneath? I'm gonna show you in just a second what I'm doing. <clears throat> so I'm kind of scraping <clears throat> the underneath. Do you see how I have this little 
it almost looks like an upside like the underside of a mushroom right now right <clears throat> so after you have your little cap on top i want you to make sure you start pulling out a little bit of a <clears throat> cap a little bit of a i'm going to call it a mushroom pedestal most little leg because what would we do with that we're going to pull the handle out of that so we want to make sure we have enough beeswax there we know that umbrellas are pretty thin right they're not thick they don't look like a mushroom in the start they might but you can start to see okay look at that underneath do you see how i have that <clears throat> that's actually pretty it looks like it's starting to be like a flower mushroom on the underside but we want to make sure we have enough of that pulled in before we keep working on the top otherwise we won't have a handle to work with okay so i'm gonna leave that be for a while i'm also gonna i want to make sure i keep going back to it and why do i want to, want to keep going back to it Every time I work on the top a little bit, I'm going to go back to that handle and slowly start to pull it down so that it stays soft. So as I do the top a little bit, I'm going to go to the handle and I'm going to continue to pull a little bit of that handle down <clears throat> so that that handle doesn't start to get too soft on me that I won't be able to pull it down. Because that's going to be a, um, our umbrella handle is pretty skinny in comparison to the umbrella itself. Yeah. So this could be a mushroom today, couldn't it? If we kept pulling out that bottom stalk. Okay, so now I have that stalk pulled out. I'm gonna go back and work on my umbrella. And we also have, do umbrellas have a top little, um, little spire that comes out of the top? Let's see if I can pull a top little, one a teeny tiny little, You start to see my little top that's coming out. You know, when you put an umbrella on the ground, you have this little, sometimes it's a metal pole that comes out of it. So I'm just gonna have a nice teeny tiny little one that comes out of the top. So you can see I have a top coming out and my handle's in process, <clears throat> keeping that handle nice and soft as you work it so that you can keep pulling that down and then keep working on that umbrella. My hands are cold today, so my umbrella is already doing that. It's already getting nice and a little hard on me already. So I'm going to try to work a little bit quicker here on my umbrella. Keep working that umbrella around. And some umbrellas have scallops that go around. They might have little um, sweet little edges that are um, scalloped or have different shapes. My mom has one that has, it looks like a big flower on hers. So you can get creative with your edges. <clears throat> they don't have to be perfectly round if you wanna do a scallop or maybe a little um, ruffly wobbly edge that goes around. Pulling that nice and out and I'm gonna go back to my handle and I'm gonna start to pull down that handle because an umbrella's handle is nice and thin, so I'm gonna keep pulling that down. And when I say pulling, I'm doing a pull and a little pull and a gentle squeeze, just squeezing, squeezing, trying to get that to be nice and thin and round. That's a trick, so we can make, start to see the umbrella happening, but I want that handle thinner. So I'm just gonna keep squeezing and pulling that down and we want that handle to be the appropriate size. If we think in a, of an umbrella, the size of an umbrella and how big or long that handle might be. And then sometimes handles, uh, umbrellas, you can choose your umbrella. Some uh, umbrellas at the bottom have a little U-curve. So you have a little handle to hold on to at the bottom. So you could make a straight handle or when you get down to the bottom, if you want to make a little curve, you can make a little U-curve coming together. 
and you can work this as much as you want. So your umbrella, you can have fun with it. You can make it thin. If you guys want to add a few other colors of decoration to the top, you can. Seeing that handle coming out? I'm gonna bend mine and my wax. I'm gonna keep working this umbrella probably even after I end the video. I'm just gonna keep working and working that to get that um, thinner. And as I get that thinner, I also am trying to create that rounding shape so does an umbrella come down. Some span more wide and some umbrellas actually have this shape. Have any of you ever had a shape? I've seen children's umbrellas like ladybug umbrellas that really have a curve that come down. So you can choose the shape of your umbrella. Do you want a wide umbrella? Or if you want to create one that really comes down and has that um, U shape that comes around, you can choose. So you can be creative and decide how you want to do that. I'm going to come back to my handle before this handle gets too hard here. Kind of fun to play with beeswax on a overcast, cloudy rainy feeling kind of day, right? <laughs> yep. And you can just keep working that handle. Be careful with it. Mine has some cracks in it, so it's nice to get my wax warm again. And you can keep coming back to this. We know that beeswax warms up. We can get it back in our hands. If you need to put it down and go do something decide you want to add more decorations to it. Got to be careful with that handle. Now that it's getting long, <clears throat> it's going to start to get delicate and tender up at the top, right? So be careful um, as you squeeze it. And as I come down here, I am going to make a little U on mine. I'm holding it up at the top because it feels like it might want to break off at the top soon. It's top heavy. A normal umbrella in life wouldn't have the weight of a beeswax, the amount of beeswax that's on top, right? There we are. <clears throat> so, a beeswax umbrella, and I'm going to send you off with that. So you can keep working. I'm going to um, go back and I'm going to continue to work on smoothing out the top of my umbrella and I'm going to do a little bit of um, if you want to do a scallop edge before we go I'm going to take my nail and I'm going to push into the edge of my umbrella and can you kind of see how that did a just a little a start of a little scallop there and you got to be careful when you push in so if you want to go around and add scallops to yours, you can do that. You can do a nail. You can push your finger into it. So a rainy spring day beeswax umbrella. So have fun creating whatever your umbrella looks like. Have fun with its shape. Be careful. Give it a little top here so when your umbrella closes up, you have a place to rest it down to dry out after a spring rain. I set my umbrella right there. And to close, let's, um, can you put your um, umbrellas down? And we'll just close with our verse. If you're standing or sitting, if you want to stand up, I'm going to stay seated so that you can see me. <clears throat> nice and tall wherever you are. Within me, there lives an image of all that I can be. When I do become it, my heart will be free. Second grade, have a great day. Go outside, have some fun, find some treasures, do something kind for mom and dad, give somebody a big hug, and share a little piece of gratitude with somebody in your family, and continue to work on your beeswax umbrella. I'm going to go work on mine. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.